Hi guys, Miyaki here. Uh, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on particles. Um, particles is actually a, a pretty advanced um, skill to have, so we are just going to focus on making one design of tart particles, uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about each parts of how to make a particle and what they do. But um, particles itself is a very, very kind of a in-depth um, field. There's actually two different ways to make particles. You can either use the debug2 tab or you can make a JSON file and upload it directly in the thing. But uh, right now we're just going to talk about specifically the debug2, kind of like we did with the scalar. And uh, we're going to try to make what appears to be a fire. So, over. All right, so this is what we are going to try to achieve right here. It looks like a fire. You may notice that if we go to different rooms, that the fire will have different looks to it. See, the, the, the actual um, image file is white, and I added a color to it. So since it is white, in this room it's got a blue light, the fire looks white, uh, blue. Uh, let's see, if we go to, let's find a different room, uh, trick, check it out, and this room's got a teal color, so the fire kind of matches the color of the room, but in like a basic room, let's find my white room, white, basic white IV room, it's got a little bit of the color that I added to it, with some purple and blue sparkles. So this is the what we're going to try to achieve. Uh, what I have here is an older file, um, bonfire that I made, and I had the fire was originally created using um, um, scrolling tech or texture animation, cycling texture animation. So I removed that. I left the shadows, which I hand animated. There's just a plane down there. You can probably turn that off. You can look at it. Oops. That looks better with the vertex colors. I think he added it. I'm just playing with this field because of. Yeah, okay. Anyway. And there is also, I also added to this file, which wasn't in the original file, a um, some omni lights, which are animated to give the additional flicker on the avatar and the surroundings so to give it more of a give it more of a uh, fiery look so what we want to do is head over to the debug panel and to debug 2 and let's see this is all the information for this particular file we're going to collapse all this because it's in the way we don't need all this right now meshes and all right so i would like i want to make a note that particle systems right here if you were to make a, uh, a particle file using the JSON file, you would input it over here under particle systems. Um, I will actually put a link to a tutorial that, that I found uh, below. Right now I will be using a couple tutorials that I found over here. The, um, uh, this is something I found on iView. It's from the old uh, creator system previewer the old previewer system so a lot of the stuff still is true because it's where it, that's where it was created from but they got rid of the particle system um, so now everything has to be done manually but so I will also put a link to this and I also got a lot of information from a uh, forum post that is no longer available because the forum is gone but it's located still back in the Wayback Machine, which is um, a great place to look at older information that is no longer available. The Wayback Machine, if you've not heard about it, pretty much archives everything. And you can look at the dates of when how, or when the, that particular web page was archived. So it's very useful if you're trying to find old and deleted information. So this was a very useful tutorial. 
That's a lot of good information. Um, I am not going to go that this in depth. So we're just going to make this one thing. Um, oh, and here is the link to the tutorial that has the uh, the JSON dot um, editor. This is what you would like to use. This is a, a good tutorial to use if you want to um, not have other people edit your particles later on. Um, but anyway, let's start here. So, for to make my um, fire particles, first thing I need to add. is something not clicked on. Eh, that's not good. It's important to not click on anything when you do this, and I clicked on something, so... Oops. Let's see if I can um, reset that. I haven't clicked anything on debug one. Let's see if I can add it on debug one without adding it. So the first thing I want to add is a key. Or particle defect. And I will have all of this stuff um, in the description below or on my website where you can read it. So all right, let's see where it added it. Particle effect. Let's see if it's on debug two. Yes, okay, so now we have the particle effect. So, um, for my particle effect, I want there to be gravity. So, gravity, the, the difference between a key and data is a key is just, it just um, dictates a new set of rules. And when you add data, it adds information to that rule. So, let's see here. We're going to add blend mode. Blend mode is not necessary, but for the fire, I want to have a blend. It's kind of like on the meshes where you go um, blending mode. It's the same thing. It'll be additive or composite, and I'm going to do additive. So, All right, particle effect, we're going to add some data, blend mode, add it, give, okay, and continue to have the particle effect clicked, I'm going to add my gravity, which is also data, gravity, zero, zero, two. Now, you'll notice that I have the um, three uh, three numbers here. This, the first one is x. They're in, in x, y, z. So this is x, y, z. The gravity is the direction in which the particles are going to be pulled. So uh, I just want the z-axis affected. I just want the, the um, particles to go up like in a fire. So that's why it's positive 2. If you want the things to fall down, it would be a negative whatever number. So we're adding gravity. And now we want to also name my file texture. Um, before we start that, I'm going to put my file texture in here, which I already have set aside. So um, the particle file I am using is called tests64. I have labeled that because it is uh, 64 by 64 ping file. All particles should be a ping file because it has the opacity built in and uh, nothing else really works well. Um, JPEGs, there's no, no opacity in JPEGs, and uh, animated GIFs, they only show the first frame of the animation, so it wouldn't really be very useful. So I'm going to put that over here. Alright, so my particle file name is test64. Make sure I label that. 
add data, texture, file, name, test, dot, png. All right, that is, that is, yep, yeah, lowercase, I was making sure. All right, now let's add our first particle rule. So under particle effect, we're going to click on key. We're going to add particle, oops, particle rule zero. Particle rule zero. Now we're going to click on particle rule zero and we're going to add another key. This is the rule that creates the particle, basically. We're going to add another key. We call that position. And now we click on that. We're going to add our data. Um, there are several different shapes that your particles can emanate from. Um, for the fire, I'm going to make a cone. There's also a sphere, cylinder, disc, box, rectangle, plane. Uh, there's a whole list of them. I'll, I will list them all, and plus their coordinates that go along with them. So, all right, position. We are gonna add data bottom, and the bottom of my particles are gonna be at zero, zero, zero. So basically, at floor level. Um, and data, there, radius, it's going to be zero, so, it's a point. Okay, outer radius, outer radius, it's going to be 0.5, so just a little skinny cone. We're making and the top is going to be one unit high so we're gonna add data top oops top zero zero one XYZ and you can the the XY is like you can move it this way this way and up and down so if you want it to be like a skewed cone, then you would put like one zero one or one one one, or if it's flat cone, it'd be one zero zero. So if that makes sense. So that's the top. And make sure we put what type it is. Type. Cool. All right. So that is our cone. We need to also add, go back to particle rule. So we got the position. Now we need to add the rate. This is the rate in which the particles will be created. So we're going to add some data. Rate. Come on at 200. Uh, I've noticed that if you have the number too high, the system can only support so many particles at once so they'll all just appear and then once they're all gone they all come back again so I can show you that in a minute. Okay so our rate is 200 and then we're gonna add type. So we're s I'm not sure if there's other data entries for this but I think this I mean it's definitely important to have it lo uh, noted that they had to be created. All right, velocity. This is the w the speed at which your card particles are ejected from their creation point. Ejected. Let's see particle. Growth. So we're gonna add. This is gonna be a key. Velocity. And now we're gonna add some information to that. Um, this is also defined as a shape, so um, 
if your velocity is a sphere, then they'll shoot out in a sphere. If it's in a cone, they'll shoot out in a cone shape or a plane shape. But it depends on how you just the their velocity is the what direction they go based on the shape. So I'm doing a cone again because that's what I have. Uh, all right, so we have velocity. We're gonna add information about our cone again. We're gonna have, uh, Cone is zero, zero, negative 0.5. Now I'm putting the negative 0.5 is so the uh, the particles have a little bit of, of variety. They're not just all kind of spearing up because if you look closely to fire, not all the flames move at the same rate. So I put in a negative 0.5 to kind of like give the particles some variety. And you could play with that whatever looks best to you. So inner radius, all this is going to be zero again. So inner radius, zero, outer radius, also a zero, um, top. So I mean, the the higher I make the uh, the velocity, the farther they will shoot up. So I'm just leaving everything at zero. And type cone. So we just make sure you add the type. The reason I'm putting these in the order that I am because that's the order that they get arranged in. So, all right. Before I do anything else, let's apply changes and see how it looks. <laughs> Just spat them out. <laughs> so this is where the kill old comes in handy, huh? Okay. Like I said, it can only support so many so many particles at once. So it made all the particles in. We're gonna kill some particles. We're gonna add another rule here. Uh, can I, okay, we're gonna click on, back on particle effect because it needs to be in the same line as the other rules. So we're gonna add a second rule. Particle rule one. So we got our next rule. Add some data. Age limit. This is how long a particle will be in existence. Type kill old. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see how it looks now. Now this is an interesting effect, it's all... It's all lining, I wonder why. Huh. Well, let's finish adding the inputs and see what happens. Alright, I'm gonna add some color to this thing. Before I do that, I want to make it a little bit taller because I'm going to add, make the top of the velocity a little taller. There, a little taller. That's so weird. Alright, let's add our next rule. We're going to add particle rule 2, which is actually our third rule. So go back to particle effect. We're going to add our key. Particle rule 2. Alright, we're 
numbers are too. And we're going to click on that. We're going to add data. Alpha. Zero. And then we're going to add our color. 255. This is a light yellowish hue that I'm adding to this. And now we got scale. It's also theta. This is the uh, how quickly it shifts to that color. Set to point zero one. I notice the higher the number, the more it flickers. We don't want that, so we're gonna put that for there, and then make sure we add our type. Type target color. All right, see what happens. We're gonna die changes. because I have a light there. Let's go to a different room and see what happens. Let's go to um, a black room. See, it looks normal here. Hmm? Problem with this black room is it's fully illuminated, so you don't actually see the flickering of the light that I have included in this mesh. What room like there? Let's see this room. Oh, it's got the weird buzzy look to it too. Is that because of the fog? That's really weird. So it's all kind of rainbowy because I added the color thing. Let me um, I'm gonna widen the base a little bit because so it encompasses my fire pit a little bit better. So outer radius, I'm gonna edit that and make that a one instead of a 0.5. Ooh, that's a little bit too big. Let's go back. Let's go back on that. 0.7. Not too bad. Let's fix this color thing. I could just put a yellow file on there. The one I have in there is white. Remember the uh, the particle image stays the same size no matter how close you are. So when you're this far apart, they they're all stuck together, which makes the uh, fire look more condensed. And then when you get close, they're farther apart, so they're not like running into each other. But all right, let's um let's change the scale. Let's see what happens when I change the scale to a 0.5. Oh, see what it's doing now. It's all kind of rainbowy. Now it's all like freaking psychedelic, man. It's like blah, 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 blah. rainbowy. Okay, so let's go back. What happens if I put this as a zero? It's just white. Now I could make this go up a little faster. Make it a three.
alpha. I can make this slightly invisible if I want to. Let me change the scale. I have 0 0.01, 0 0.05. Let's get a little bit green in there. 0 0.001. I think at this point it might be better just to try to make the file itself yellow. What does that think? Open it up and have a look, see, shall we? There's a pink file. We are going to colorize it a little bit. Rename this to since I changed it yellow. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna change the file name since I'm changing the file name. Yellow. So the actual particle is now yellow. Do we like the green or not? Let's go try a different room and see if it still looks yellow. It does. Yo, we're in the green room. So there you have it. We have ourselves a fire. It's very nice. So, as you can see, the um, particles are very useful. You can do pretty much anything with them. You can make smoke, fog, fire, rain, snow, fireflies, fairies, stars, fireworks, explosions, anything you want. So, but this is just a very basic tutorial right now. Um, I will post all of the different variations that you can do and you can play around with it on your own. Um, but uh, hopefully this helps you get started with um, particles. 
so and uh, enjoy making stuff so have a good day